But yeah, I'm just so just flat. Oh, yeah, I do. Not that that discredits the online links because that's still an occupation and it's still a job and it's still hard work. And all my fellow creators will understand that. I also study. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I'm not a crier I'm a crier but I'm not a crier In the sense If you've seen me cry I was either extremely hurt Upset Whatever Or I'm so so comfortable around you Because I do not cry in front of people I don't even like crying in front of myself um, I was doing psychology I did psychology for two years And then I stopped the social work from Florida, that's awesome. Hello, Florida. Okay, okay, maybe you I really got a wee, but I'm holding out to stay on here for a little bit longer. You know? Minneapolis. That's awesome. It was actually, um, I think her name's Madeline RG. She's cool. She's from England. And she was like, yeah, your car's like a safe span outside. That's so right. Like, I go to my car to be alone. Why do all Australians move to Europe when Irish, British go the other way? Because it's what you're accommodated to, right? So... I'm from Western Australia, which in the grand scheme of things, if you're looking at Australia as a whole, is a very small town. There's not really much to do here if you're young and you've got good aspirations, I guess. Or just any aspirations, like you want to do lots of things, there's not very much here. And because we get bored, or unless you like camping and all that sort of stuff, it's very limited. So we all flock the big city a lot of us go to melbourne uh what, the sunshine coast the gold coast brisbane whatever or we go to england whereas people who live in cities like london it's so condensed and it's so packed up if you've experienced that your whole life then of course if you want change you're gonna go somewhere that's less dense you know a little bit more slow pace so it's just a matter of wanting to be in an environment that's different to what you're used to and that's pretty much and well I was in London for two weeks and I just loved it I loved the hustle and bustle I loved that there was always things happening you know so much more far ahead I've heard the healthcare system's crap over there Bob I wouldn't say it's better money uh, it's just that the pound is stronger than the Australian dollar, so it doubles. So a lot of Australians go over there and work, and then they send their money back to Australia and it doubles. Australian accents or all the Australians over there. That's because there's quite a lot of Aussies in like Thailand and Bali. 
I don't want to lose my Aussie accent though. I don't. I'm so. I love it, and I'm scared that I'm going to pick it up naturally. I live with my sister and although I could do them at home, I just feel weird. I don't want to listen to me. I'm from Western Australia. No, the blonde is it. Like, the blonde is just me. I'll never bring back the red hair. It's just tied to way too much trauma. I think after this, I'll go back natural and have babies. Oh, it's Love the hair. Love your hair. Smile. Your hair's not this, I look more sick when I'm pale, when I have blonde hair. When I have the red hair or the dark hair, like I'm always tanning. Okay, I really, I really have to wait. So I'm gonna go. Maybe I'll jump back on live when I get back home. We'll see. Illy, everybody. 